Are you ready for chapter 13? This, uh, ver this chapter has uh, Simon in it. You want to say his name that way. It's so tempting to say Simon, yeah? Simon. In verse 22, there's another E-A word, meant. So if I mean something, what does that word mean? We say it like that. But in the past, it's meant, kind of like read and read. Verse 29, we get to practice our breath TH again with the word thought. Thought. Put breath in the beginning so it doesn't come out taut. Verses 26 and 27, the word him and he, the words him and he, those pronouns are there. And it's about Judas and Jesus. And um, I think it would be beneficial if you look through those, the language of those verses and try to figure out which, which person each he refers to. So verse 26, Jesus answered, I will dip some bread in the sauce and give it to him. And that would be the person who's going to betray him. He, that he, is the man. So he, Jesus, not he, Judas. He, Jesus, took a piece of bread, dipped it, and gave it to Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot. As soon as Judas took the bread, Satan, that's another word we want to say the right way, with a long A at the beginning, Satan entered into him, him being Judas. Okay, so now verse 30, accepted. Let's put a, a little line between the two C's. Accepted. So we don't end up with accepted. Accepted. 31. Through. Another breath, TH. And 36 has the word later. Later. Please don't make it later. You want to be careful that the T in the middle of the word doesn't become a D. And last but very not least, on uh, verse 38 is the word, in verse 38 is the word rooster. So R-O-O -O is roo-ster. So book and look are different. This O-O this o -O is oo, roo-st-ster. That's it.